everybody jason here happy hump day long time no see yes sometimes life happens and uh had to deal with more important things than than trading and um posting videos so hopefully um you know kind of when it rains it pours um you know got off vacation people got sick catching up with work and then some other stuff so Hopefully I'm over the bulk of it for a little while. And then on top of Tesla irrationally dropping and um, emotional highs and lows. And like last last Monday we hit above 300,000 and then just to drop right back down like a rock. Um, I, I definitely have high confidence in the earnings run up and earnings. And um, last week when everything just splashed back down, what I, what was kind of going through my head, no matter what the Fed said, no matter what CPI came out, like however that came out today, um, the market has this very, very short-term memory. So uh, even if we were bad on both accounts and we went through another week or so of not so, you know, the uh, market basically being down, even though it looked like, a good portion of that was pretty much built in. Um, it would have taken, you know, maybe next week, maybe the second half of next week before people kind of forgot about it. Almost kind of like people are, people seem to be forgetting a little bit more or just not caring or ignoring about Omicron and all that stuff going on. So, I mean, look how far, look how far away like Afghanistan is and just like all those thoughts. It's really crazy. This, these really, super hot topics and then they just and then they just fade away um for the, like the past week i've really kind of been internalizing that and trying to understand some of the stuff that i don't um i realize you know this is there's just infinite amount of things to learn and go through and know uh about how the market works and how it trades some of the irrationalness i would like to wrap my head around but trying to wrap my hand around head around something that's irrational kind of seems a little bit crazy um and just when you think you know you know when you know a decent amount it seems like just a brand new curveballs are thrown at you so um past past week or two after those delivery numbers were fantastic the the drop even with the macro data uh did not make any sense to me it just doesn't it kind of doesn't compute i was able to day trade some shares um but just got everything rolled out to earnings. Um, that's where I'm betting very, very heavily. So we can take a look at that. So we um, basically like last week, I rolled things out and kind of turned off, uh, tuned out, turned off uh, for a little bit. So here's where we're at. We actually have uh, we actually have one of these expiring. What the it's Friday? Um, that was kind of a straggler. So I think this guy was just like over this past week, we were down, you know, down quite a bit on this guy, but I was like, you know, my thought is that sometime between now and earnings, we're going to have a run up, right? <laughs> like that's how it has to be. But as soon as I say, that's how it has to be, uh, maybe, maybe it's going to totally prove me wrong because earnings are going to be a beat and those models and earnings per share are just up on Tesla. So Anyways, <clears throat> so we have that. Um, maybe we'll just let that hopefully expire worthless because we are almost $50 out of the money on that at this point for another couple days. Um, haven't even, we haven't even sold calls against anything. We have our, um, this was kind of a, my Palantir YOLO that I bought a long time ago, thinking Palantir was going to go up, even though, what is it? Eh, 16 $17, at least it's bouncing back. Haven't even looked at that in a little bit. And then, um, this was part of a, uh, a wheel that I was running on MGM. Obviously, we're going to get those shares super called away from me because they were down at $27. So, um, yeah, so that'll be so that'll be my January, essentially. And then after that, basically, I'm just betting super heavily on uh, earnings, uh, both the run-up and um, actual earnings. So we are pretty heavily rated, uh, weighted, uh, right around that 11, 11, 20, um, some lower, some a little bit higher, um, and then some very high. These these I actually rolled out from a few weeks ago. I didn't want to roll them out too far, 
but um, that was the premium I was able to get. And it was kind of like, it was one of those, uh, what was it? Where were we sitting? Um, 10, I think 1020 or something when I rolled those out uh, last week. And um, it just things, things just weren't making sense. So I went ahead and rolled them out to this time. Those are those are definitely super risky. I, um, I might look for a farther date if I can roll those out to a decent point. But I also, because Tesla has moved down, you know, $100 within a day or two, I don't see any reason why it won't move up $100 or more in a day or two. So even though my confidence is high, sometimes I kind of take a step back and really think like, well, even though my confidence is high, is it worth putting you know, X amount of money on the line. And in this case, I guess it's like $3,500 minus my credit received. Oh, it was 409. So actually in reality, we're only putting $500 on the line at that point. So it's actually not too bad. Um, moving along. So that's everything that's expiring for earnings. And then we move out to February. Um, and we're at that $1,100 mark, March, um, March before we start kind of moving up, um, a little bit is like where I expect, I expect to be able to roll these up or out a bit and receive some credits kind of along the way. And then into June, um, I actually did roll these up amidst, um, on, uh, last, last Monday when the stock price went up just to take some more, basically more money out of these plays, I think these were at, uh, 1025 or something like that. 1025, uh, 975 or something like that. But I moved those up quite a bit. So these are, this is where the bulk of my collateral is right now. So, um, so we have, uh, what, 44, $45,000 to collect on that in June. But, um, with the market just being totally irrational from my, from my standpoint, maybe it makes sense to somebody else. Uh, I want, I just want to give myself enough time. Uh, I think that's a very, very, very reasonable expectation for, uh, where I think Tesla will be in, um, somewhat kind of midterm. And then the rest of the things I rolled out to next, next January. Uh, but I see, I, I wanted to get through whatever the short term turmoil craziness was, um, get the actual earnings report out there. And the other, the other huge thing that's happening, it's, it's crazy. We have Austin opening in the next week or two, and it's something that's been driving me nuts. So we know the day it opens, right? Like, I don't know if they're going to have a grand opening or, or what, but as soon as people go to actual work there on production, like that day, the price will probably spike, even though it's an absolute known catalyst that's happening um, in the next, whatever, in the next week. But I guess an open factory is 10 times more valuable than an almost open factory, even if we do know it's happening in the short term. So we have that. And then earnings call, of course, we have whatever production and uh, timeline updates that we'll have there. So Anyhow, um, I, I'm going to do my best to try to get back to getting these up every day. <laughs> so yeah, this, um, and then just kind of like an overview of the, the small accounts haven't made any moves there still like where we're at. And just over this, this past month, this is, this is essentially, this has been my roller coaster, right? So, um, yeah, from kind of recovering there to 280 all the way down, we were hitting like 160, which is $200, $200, $200,000 below our high on this account. And then, you know, a couple of weeks later, we were back up to 300. So almost double the account. And then on this drop, we're, we lost, like we're down another hundred thousand and now we're up 50 from it. Just the volatility is insane. And I guess this is the, this is what they say, like in, invest um, based upon your risk tolerance, um, and your stomach for volatility. Well, um, I don't know that we get much more volatile than that rather than, you know, other than just absolutely YOLOing something into some crazy, crazy play and like losing it all. So still happy with most of my, um, 
most all of my plays and have a pretty high level of confidence in the earnings. The, the thing that's just, the only thing that's really shaken me is just the irrational nature of what's happened over the last couple of weeks. Stuff that just, just does not make sense, doesn't compute, doesn't make any sense to me. So I guess we'll see how it is. Um, and in the near term, we lose on some, we lose on some. Uh, long term, I think we know where we're going. Um, and we always have our long term shares that we hold on to. So, all right. Good to see you guys. Love you. Um, we'll see you tomorrow. And let's make a lot of money.